up guys thanks for tuning in today my main plan is we're gonna go hit the golf course you saw the weather earlier it looks like it's probably gonna rain here at some point so first things first though I have got to hit the gas station because I don't know about y'all I like to take my tank all the way down to zero miles left and then push it for 10 more miles We just got gas now. We are headed to Jekyll Island You know, I hate touching the gas nozzles So I always sanitize my hands after that. I just feel like that's the one of the grossest things You can touch with this uh, Situation going on right now. I'm not gonna say the word the C word And just to clear the water about moving around with the virus because I know a lot of people are sheltering in place and can't leave their homes especially in places like new york and bigger cities i do not live in a big city the town here is still operating not like normal but businesses are open people are moving around people are going to work i'm still going to work uh, today i'm gonna go golfing go to the beach go kayaking and that whole interaction i should only see one person the person I pay at the golf course. Other than that, I'm carrying my bag, not touching golf carts. I think we still need to be smart about it, but I still wanna go out and do things I enjoy doing. So if today goes good, I'll only come in contact with one person. All right, so we're going to Jekyll Island. It's probably a 25 minute drive from my house. I gotta get over. Oh, sorry, buddy. here on Jekyll Island this is owned by the state so it's a state park you have to pay to get on over here or you can buy an annual pass which is what I normally do it's worth it it's like 45 bucks I think it's eight dollars every time to get on here anyway now hope it's not too busy it's a couple cars here it's not too busy all right guys we're all paid for out here on the course no one's out here it's pretty overcasty but I think it's still gonna be a good day it's not that hot it's perfect weather so I'm gonna get stressed up here take a few practice swings We'll see you in a bit. That felt really good, really loose, really nice day out here. So let's go see where it went. Got 154 yards to the hole. Oh, that's perfect. 
that is perfect so here we are first hole got a little birdie putt let's see if we can sink it huh On to the next. All right, so not too bad the first hole. Just getting warmed up. Haven't been playing a whole lot of golf lately, but on to the second. So here we are on hole two. There's a little lake over here, and we've got a little three foot alligator, maybe. I don't know if you can see him or not. Let's see if I can get up close to him here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What you doing, buddy? Wow. Look at that. We are maybe five feet away from him right now. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Look at you. You're a big boy, huh? All right, buddy. We're going to leave you alone to do your thing. Whoa! There you go. And there he goes. Down into the water to where I have no idea where he went. But you know what they say. Where there's a baby, there's a bigger one. Let's get back to some golf. All right, on to hole three. I took a little break there on hole two to say hello to the little alligator friend. I've actually got a guy behind me right now, so I'm going to try and keep the pace up a little bit here. Oh! <laughs> Alright, just finished up hole three. Missed a really short putt right there. Not really paying attention. Still wanting to see that alligator again. Hopefully we'll see some deer and some other stuff. I know there's some turtles and fish and alligators in that lake over there, so on to hole four. Oh, that went so far right. Okay, I didn't finish up that last whole recording because there was a lot of maintenance men and I got a guy behind me and I'm trying to sort of move quick. Um, and record at the same time so we're on hole five six five six I don't know um, we're on hole five or six so I'll get with you next shot all right that was my third shot on this fifth hole this was the fifth hole, by the way. It's up into this hill, so let's see where it ended up. Whew. Not bad. Let's knock that in for a birdie. Boom! Okay, this is the sixth hole here. It's a par three. It's a short hole. But it's right next to the beach, which is right on the other side of that road. And I have put many balls into that road. So if we hit a car today, we are running and no one is ever seeing this. Whatever you do, don't hit a car. Boom. Okay, on to the seventh hole. 
Three more holes and we will be off to the beach and getting some food because I'm starving. That was a huge alligator. But there he is over there if you follow the bubbles. Let's see if he comes up. That was a big boy. There he is right over there going under the tree. Oh, you can see his head. We're not going to be able to get to him. I don't think I can get it on quality unless you can see it in that last shot. But that was a big boy. And that goes to show you I didn't even see him until we were probably, I don't know, 15 feet away. But it's a big alligator to not see until you're 15 feet away. So, all right, next shot. Let's get back to it and stop getting distracted by the nature. All right, on to hole eight. It's another short one. One more after this and we can go get some grub and hit the beach. The weather's still great. So let's blast this one down there and finish strong. Ninth hole, last hole. Let me know what y'all think of this content. I just wanted to do like a daily vlog today. Just so happened that I want to, I'm going golfing. Hopefully to the beach after this and get some food. Like and subscribe to get some more. I'm going to be trying to do at least once a week. So hopefully many more to come. It's a hot day out today. Just shows me how out of shape I'm in. So let's finish strong. All right, that was a bad shot. We did get to see two alligators, so that makes it better. But let's finish this hole up, hit these second shots, and get some food. Last hole, last green, hopefully last putt. Let's get it. I just got finished up put back in the car it is hot 90 degrees right now is what it's saying overall good round not bad but I'm starving all I've eaten today is a banana and a Gatorade so I'm gonna go get some food I thought there was water in my truck I'm gonna go get some food and we are gonna go to the beach and see what's going on at the beach because it is a nice day. I would love to put the kayaks in. The water really looks glassy. There's no wind at all, but I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm exhausted. So I'll get back with y'all soon. All right, just picked up some food. Now we are gonna head over to Driftwood Beach. More than likely, we're gonna see where the people are. I don't wanna be where the people are because that spreads the you know what that I'm not saying but we all know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying let's go to the beach there are so many hotels coming up over here on Jekyll Island if you've never been I recommend coming but I think it'd be better to stay in an Airbnb or a condo or one of the original existing hotels like the Jekyll Island Hotel. I think it's a lot to build all these hotels everywhere. All this is new. What do I know? Okay guys, I'm out of the truck now. I actually ate in the truck because it's sort of hot out here and I really wanted to cool down and enjoy the food, but 
Um, we're out here at St. Andrews. We're actually the only car out here. Even though some people have driven through. So no one should be out here. And we are about to head right here. Let's see how it goes. As we're walking out here, the only thing I can think about is I'm going to be really upset if someone steals my kayaks. I don't have them locked down. And I trust people, but I also don't trust people. And I don't have them locked down. So... I hope they are there when we get back. That'll be a little mini victory in itself. All right, we're down here on the beach. We had to take a detour because I saw a big old crab over here. Oh, he went back in his hole. Go back down into the hole. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, oh well. Oh well, let's see if we can find some more critters down here. Oh, here's some jellyfish. Hey, buddy. Here's the uh, viewing platform. And here is a basket. A memory basket. Huh, okay, actually, I get the, I get the concept here. I guess everyone that comes, you can put, um, I guess this would be uh, some kind of fronds on there. I tried to get it on video, but I couldn't get it on. It was just a pocket. I reached down and picked up a fish. fish or anything like that. That is really rushing through there. Coming out of the creek back there and going out into the ocean. I also don't want to step too close to that because I will fall right in. And I don't know if you've ever been cut by an oyster before, but I don't want to get cut by an oyster. Also, how about this telephone pole that washed up? Look at how long that's been in there. The barnacles. It's even got the uh, even got the ladder still there. Maybe this wasn't a telephone. I don't know what this was. Let's see if we can follow the creek in the back. I think I saw a trail, and I am a sucker for a trail. Just take this little trail and see where it goes. It may just be an animal trail. I think it is. Uh, it is so muddy back here. Please don't sink. Yeah, this is just gonna go straight back to this creek back here. Don't really go anywhere. I think this is more of an animal trail than. Oh, well, maybe not. Keep following it. It's just the creek that's flowing straight out in the ocean. Oh, there's another lizard if you can see him. That guy's a yellow and black guy. I'm just gonna keep following this trail. The lizard's leading us, actually. Lead us somewhere, buddy. All right. We have actually come to another place right here. But like I said, I think, ooh, I don't know what that is. That looks mean as hell. Also, looks poisonous. I'm gonna try and stay away from that. But like I said, I don't know if these trails are man-made. Probably not. I'm sure people come back here, but I think these are more so just uh, 
deer trails and stuff like that that have just been worn down. It's a pretty cool spot though. I assume when the water is at high tide, it probably, probably covers all those trees. I think it's safe to say. There's a crab crawling up the little tree right there. All right, we're back off that trail. I wasn't really going anywhere and I was getting my legs torn up by thorns. That was definitely not a upkept trail. So we're gonna start heading back towards the car, probably go on the beach for a little bit. I know my, uh, what's going on right there? I know my GoPro battery's getting pretty low. So I'm gonna on the beach for a little bit back down to the car go get our feet in the water and see what we can find so it is really low tide here this is all oyster beds normally the water is probably up to see about that grass a little more than the grass so it is really low tide here I'm walking on nothing but oysters there's not a lot of beach over here either it's in this way so I'm probably going to wander back to the car. Try not to cut my feet open on any of these. So thank God the kayaks are here. That makes me so happy, oh my God. All right, we're back up off the beach. It was just like a five minute walk. There was two other people on the beach too when I came back this way. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and like the video if you can. Check in next time for some more.